Good afternoon, everybody. David Schuster here on Take Action News. Thanks to everybody who's listening to us in Chicago and Columbus and Michigan and Oklahoma, all of our syndicated stations, and also everybody who's watching us now over our YouTube channel, Take Action News TV. Remember, you subscribe there, and you can get the videos sliced and diced and delivered to your uh, your inbox for free, so you never have to miss any part of the show, and it comes in edible little pieces. Thanks for being with us. Uh, this is either the first show of 2013 or the last one of 2012, depending on when you are watching and listening to us. But as of the time that we have been doing this show, Congress is still at a stalemate. There is no progress on the fiscal cliff. Members of the Senate are coming back to Washington to try to deal with it. There's some optimism, even on the Republican side, that, it, that the president and, and congressional leaders can come up with something so that as of January 2nd, taxes will not go back up on everybody. The idea is to try to protect 98, 99% of the country, keep the tax rates the same for them. But for the wealthiest Americans, see the rates go from 36 to 39%. There's also this issue of what to do about the sequester, the automatic cuts to the defense program and to other, to other domestic programs if, in fact, there's no overall budget deal. And what do we do about unemployment benefits that are due to expire? And what, what do we do about the payroll tax holiday? Well, here to give us the latest, as of the time we're doing the show, is Daniel Newhauser from Roll Call, who also joins us via Google Hangout. Daniel, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me. Good to, good to have you. So, Daniel, I, what are the prospects going into this weekend that uh, Congress actually gets something done, that they get something big done so that all these issues essentially get taken off the table and Congress can start right up in January with issues like gun control? Well, uh, you know, it's looking uh, pretty grim, to be to be quite honest. Uh, uh, just the latest from, from right now uh, is that uh, House Republicans held a conference call on which uh, Speaker John Boehner announced that the House will be back on Sunday uh, for votes. Now, we're not clear just yet what they're going to be voting on. That'll be announced uh, probably a little bit later today. Uh, but this is uh, pretty certain that it's, it's going to set up a really rare New Year's Eve session. Uh, and as far as uh, getting things done uh, th at the very, very last minute, uh, you know, that doesn't really, that doesn't really bode well. Is there a calculation on the Republican side, and, and we saw this sort of play out over the last couple of days, and where a number of House Republicans kept saying, look, we have passed uh, four times different measures in the House that would deal with the Bush tax cuts. We would extend the Bush tax cuts on everybody. We've done our part. The Senate refuses to take it up. By putting the blame over on the Senate, do Republicans really think that they can shift some of the, the blame to President Obama, to Democrats in the Senate, if in fact we do go over the cliff? I think that's the calculation. Uh, Speaker Boehner told his members on this call uh, something very similar to what he uh, put out in a press release yesterday with uh, the four of the four of the top House Republican leaders. He said the Senate has to act on something. Just pass a bill. We will take it up. We'll either pass it as is, or we'll amend it and send it back to the Senate. But whatever you pass, we will at least act on it. So uh, clearly, he's trying to to make uh, the Senate kind of own. Uh, the, the sort of inaction now. But the, the funny thing is that uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid is pretty much saying right back at you. Uh, and he said, well, no, you guys take up the bill that we passed before the election that extends the, uh, the, the tax uh, cuts for everybody making under $250,000, also deals with some of these other tax measures. Uh, so, uh, you know, like I said, we've got a, a staring contest and uh, we're not, uh, you know, it remains to be seen which way, which way it goes.